all right y'all seem to like the last showcase so i'll go over a showcase this effect that i made using a bunch of a bunch of nodes obviously again i'm not gonna go over it step by step i'm gonna try and explain what i did here but mainly this is a bunch of bevel and embosses put together with also shader node and reflections and then other stuff followed a lot of texture lab tutorials in order to do this which is a bunch of photoshop stuff and i just translated into davinci with the best of my ability and the knowledge of this node because shader node was hard to understand at first but it was good we're good now we're good now so where do we start okay we just go start with the text plain text red color and i got a border on this this is basically i guess an outline but i made my own it's a little bit faster i think let's go into here okay so we have like this setup here which is for our emboss so if you ever use like the emboss node it gives you like this extra white and this extra dark spot on your text and it gives it like that extrusion type of feel that's what the emboss does but it's really not enough and like the emboss effect itself isn't enough enough to make it look like it pops up a lot so uh, a lot of DaVinci users or advanced fusion users just extend that a little bit more so if you like watch like Milo Lab Tut is a good or Pirates of Confusion he uses the emboss a lot so yeah so here I just extruded it more with the erode dilate extruded the highlight by going in the positive direction and then if I go in the negative direction I extrude the shadow and then with that I merge that together with linear dodge which kind of it prioritizes the highlight before the shadow the highlights on top of the shadow and then it goes like that and it all blends together just like that and then I blurred that a little bit so it's not as harsh and then I merge this back on top of our original text so we go from this to this which is kind of cool it's kind of nice it looks like it's a fake 3d lighting stuff like that and then what do we go to I think we're going to the uh the gloss now so this in fact I think I had a tutorial I didn't post about this this is gonna be like a reflection kind of thing so what the hell is happening here I have this masked out so you can barely see it like little little pixels over here and I have it eroded so now it's, it's there's a little thickness to it and we just, it's still transparent pixels pretty much or something like that but this we just need the edges to be expanded like that so yeah this matte control because you once you matte something itself it still leaves like a little edge so that's what I use for that and then I blurred this out a bit and then I put this in a create bump map you know one of the best nodes it allows you to make maps for displacements or in this case it's going to be r x y and z so this is a normal map if you don't know normal maps they're usually best known for faking 3d dimensions in uh, 3d programs so this would be considered a, a bump map or a normal map the colors on this page so the green and the red tell what direction that something is facing in 3d space without actually having it extruded in 3d space that's pretty cool but in this case we're using it to guide the certain direction of where we want the shines to be or for the shader node so in order to use this we have our original text going into a boolean and our create bump map going into a boolean as well on the green input and then we have our operations copy and then we only want it to view the background input which is the yellow input over there so we make sure that's a red it's only showing whatever is here but then we go to aux and we turn this enable extra channels on and basically all the channels that are here or this image that is here we're aligning certain colors to it so if you look at this is the red channel this is the green channel this is the blue channel so we're aligning the red and the green to certain spots on our composition as well as the blue on certain something else for our z but yeah let me go back into color if we just do that and so that's going into the x normal for the red the y normal for the green and the z normal for the blue like that and this goes into the shader node which gives us this crazy shader so what is happening here it's being this is being masked out by the original shape then we have our boolean going into the shader node which is reading all these channels that are being rendered from this boolean in order to create this reflection over here and in order to create our reflection i have this little fast noise just looking like this yeah to give us a nice little black and white reflection for that and using this reflection i just merge that back on top of our original text over here with a overlay blending mode and put the blend a little bit down and we have our reflection like this you can change a bunch of settings here at like the angle and the polar height change it like which where the light is coming from i believe the equator angle is like controlling where it is on the x-axis and the polar height is controlling where it is on the uh y-axis on where the light is coming from but yeah then we go and merge this on top of our next one so it's basically a bunch of these ones i think we have the same reflective parts and uh reflective set of nodes here every single time here it is here so all these are just reflections for this text and then this is a shorter emboss so this one i just took the text without the border put it and embossed it the same way we did the other one and we get this and then put that into the reflection bam there merge that on top with a little bit of a shadow we have something going on like this 
we have the one in the back again same method oh this one has another border actually on it actually text and that nice black border with the emb same emboss emboss effect the same reflective effect and this one i think i actually changed it where the yeah i tinted the noise to be a little bit pink to get that nice little pink reflection and then we have this one which is i believe a shine yeah it's a little shine of our boss so there's another way you can actually make an emboss effect actually with the displace node so we have our text here this is going into a map which is just gray and this is going to be a map that's black and then we put this into a displace and we make sure it doesn't displace anything but we actually turn the light power up and this actually gives us a little like light it goes over here and we can adjust the angle with that also the intensity with the the spread so that gives us a nice little backlight that i use i clip the clip the black so it doesn't go crazy and then i put it here on a fast noise i match i use the multiply effect or multiply blending mode to multiply this with a fast noise so it gives us a little texture on our brightness contrast there and then i put this into the dream glow by escape edits probably one of the best looking glows you can get from a preset it's a free preset go show go check out escape edits this is really dope the way he made it and yeah then i use a little tint with a color correct node and merge this back on top of everything like this and then this will be merged in the back of everything like that and so now we have our main text like this then i use a uh, light wrap effect which i'm not sure if i think smoky release this if not i think this is in my pack but it basically gives us a little bit of a uh i believe a little fringe a little bit of a extra glow on the edge with a with just pink and then we put this into a dve kind of angle it a little bit and then we have this background here which is nothing nothing too special i guess we can go over it as well so we have background gray put a paper texture on it you get that from the effects library in the fusion and then we have this fast noise we're on radial gradient detail up scale up and white and the transparent which we dream glow brighter then with the glow i've turned the tint up to this pinkish that we have then i put the rays effect on it with the blend a little bit down and that's behind uh this other um, texture that i made so this all this is a, a grunge texture i made probably not gonna go over this but fast noise pencil sketch right contrast and color gives us that kind of like grunge effect fast noise blend it gives just like a murkiness this fast noise with this i guess threshold kind of effect it gives us this little specs and then same thing for this one it gives us bigger specs and merge this all together on top of each other this is nice grunge looking effect and i think i did one more i believe with the this one fast noise it detect is this nice effect blow this out a little bit brightens and contrast i guess we raise the gain a little bit and then merge that together with a lighten effect and now we have this procedural grunge i guess that's what it's called Oh, and then I guess I masked this out with this. Oh yeah, so we have like all this edge detect stuff and then it's being masked out with this. It's giving us this nice, like kind of dried out puddle looking effect. And put a filter on it for some noise and merge that on top as, as like a, an overlay. All that to render out that, but yeah. And then that's behind this text with another dream glow if it will render. But yeah, like that kind of like ties it all together. And then we got our subtext, subtitle text like that. But yeah, there you go. Hopefully that made some sense. We think this is cool. Hopefully you guys should make stuff like this. I believe I got this concept from... All right, yeah. So this style is inspired by Safer right here. He makes all these actual 3D renders with these nice bosses and reflections and just all, all of all these different ads and stuff like that. Yeah, they just look really nice. So I thought I would try doing DaVinci. It's basically where the idea came from. Like, uh, I believe it is like one of, one of these ones where I got the, the idea for the background. Oh, that was this post by Digital Archive that showed me like this stuff like that. That was really cool. It's like explosion in the background and stuff like that, as well as the nice reflections and the embosses. So yeah, that's what I would kind of do like that, like this. It is basically how I made this.